I have travelled from Australia to tell you a story. So, <gasps> okay. This man isn't in the world anymore. Cancer took him away. I've known his wife for years. I found her in Blogland. It was rare back then to find another Aussie blogger. V and I were trying to fall pregnant, writing about our IVF and how tricky it was. In March 2008, her husband Alex was diagnosed with cancer. I felt sick for her. Two months later, my husband Dave was diagnosed with cancer. She felt sick for me. Today marks one year since her husband Alex passed away. Their beautiful son turned one a few months ago. V has been a single parent all this time. Can you imagine? Last November, in a post called Essays from the Deep, I wrote this, quote, The absolute worst thing about the cancer ward was the artwork. I remember holding everything together, carrying Rocco in the sling, walking through it all, but it was the artwork that made me despondent and want to slip my wrists. All I wanted to do was take down some of our art from home and hang it on Dave's chemo ward hospital wall. I still want to, something with some light and colour in it, for God's sake. Imagine if I didn't even ask the hospital, if I just waltzed in with beautifully coloured canvases under my arm and swapped it over with the bad art. Bad art, naughty. I think I will, unquote. Computer, guess what? I did. V and I met in the flesh for the first time yesterday at Nepean Hospital, where my husband Dave had his diagnosis and surgery and subsequent chemo. Sweet memories, man. V's beautiful, gorgeous husband, Alex, was a talented artist. We got some of his art printed up onto three canvases and we waltzed inside that cancer ward at the hospital and put them up, just like that. I did the dirty work with my man hands. <laughs> I got, oh, my hands are bigger than my husband's. No permission. We left a piece of the world goddamn less ugly than we had found it and I'm fiercely proud of us for that. Okay. Well, thank you. If I'd have known I was going to be doing this, I wouldn't have had greasy hair in that photo. <laughs> okay, putting this one up was amazing. We're actually in a patient's room and there was a man lying on the bed, dying on an oxygen. And I put it up in his line of vision, below the clock. Seriously, who puts a clock in a room of a cancer ward? Tick, tick, tick. I chose this picture, these birdies on a wire, and I looked at all of Alex's wonderful images and I tried to see them through the eyes of a newly diagnosed cancer patient. I wanted them to be taken away somewhere, anywhere other than where they were. Okay, just before that last photo above was taken, I said, V, we have to get out of here now. There were about 10 nurses milling around by that stage. Can you believe not one person asked us what the hell we were doing? <laughs> I love Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this project doesn't stop here. Remember my friend Alexandra? She's an LA-based photographer and she got these cards printed up and handed them out in downtown LA and at Santa Monica Beach. The card reads, Alex, father, husband, artist, lost his battle with leomysarcoma. From Sydney to Los Angeles, we're sharing the beauty he saw in the world. <clears throat> Sorry. And this post is called Every Little Thing. It was his favourite song, and she wrote on there, Every Little Thing, gonna be alright. It was this picture that made me cry and cry. It was a big world event that Alexandra had somehow made him a part of. She stood in busy La La Land, Handing these out. Seriously, who does this for people never met yet? I love the internet. <laughs> so, I need to go to bed. I'm writing this out, scared that I'll leave something vital out. I want you to see everything computer, but I need to publish it before V wakes up. It's 2.02 a.m. here right now. I would love if you commented. 
if you could spare a few kind words to V and Alexandra. We financed this whole thing ourselves. I can now put bumbling project manager on my business cards. <laughs> Later, as we sat in the yucky courtyard in the kiosk at Nepean Hospital, V told me that she still can't believe that he's gone. And I sat there with her and my husband's in remission and her husband wasn't lucky enough to be in remission. I looked up at the hospital and I thought of all the new pieces of artwork hanging in there and I noticed three birds looking down at us from the awning. V's blog is called Three Little Birds. She took some photos of them and I knew why, and she knew I knew why. That is their son. And I had to take that art away from him before I hung it up, but he didn't want to, he loves his dad's art and he just didn't want to let go. And, um, that's it. Her man isn't in the world anymore, but the world is a better place for him once walking in it. Alex was there, Santa Monica Beach, LA, 11th of May, 2011. <laughs> That's it.